you don't have to be a soldier to help with the war effort. Over the past six weeks, the war between Israel and Hamas has led to the deployment of nearly half a million IDF troops across the country. But that doesn't mean the rest of Israel is sitting back. Those who aren't deployed are doing everything they can to support soldiers on the front lines. How? Well, we are about to show you. We are joining veteran Bellator fighter Chaim Gozadi and Israeli YouTuber Denis Charkov to deliver goods to deployed IDF soldiers in southern Israel. Today we're going to Beri. It's where the, all the massacre was, you know, the, the place that they kill a lot of people. We bring like uh, food to the soldier, bring them like uh, energy drink, tzitziot, uh, gatkes, you know, pants, t-shirts, everything. Everything. And we go into the place that everything was uh, start over there. It's going to be around a two hour ride from Tel Aviv with plenty of IDF security checkpoints along the way. So if the IDF is feeding their soldiers, why are we bringing them more food? Chaim, do the soldiers get food every day? Yeah, they get the basic food, the army food, you know, like three meals a day. And we bring them, uh, you know, between meals, you know, like the candy that they really want, something sweet or the energy drink or protein bars and stuff like that, you know, that the army doesn't give you. So we bring them those. In the beginning, we had a lot of, uh, you know, like uh, gear to bring them, like a uh, charger for the iPhones and like a uh, first aid kit and uh, band aid and like all kind of stuff they need. What we bring them, it's also not the food and the gear, it's the morale, you know, the, the morale to, to show them that the Israeli country is a, take care of them, everybody thinking about them, you know, and support them. Support them. That's why we, we do that. Because we are entering a dangerous operational area, it is important to put on protective gear against bullets and shrapnel from rockets. Even on our way to Kibbutz Be'eri, you can hear the artillery shooting from the Israeli side, and you just feel the uh, impact. Every time you hear it shoots, you just feel it, your body shake a little bit. We've just arrived at Kibbutz Be'eri, and because it is an active military zone, we are having to get permission to enter right now. After we got permission, Chaim and Dennis immediately started passing out snacks and treats to the soldiers. And because they are both quite famous in Israel, the troops were extremely excited to meet them and take photos, which we could see visibly boost the soldiers' spirits. Through this experience, we see that morale is a critical part of war. In fact, it is proven that high morale typically leads to better performance in combat. That being said, if Israel's troops can win the battle of the mind, the real war will soon be won too.